States. Chamber pressure is nominal. Two point forty three seconds into the test flight of the inaugural Starship vehicle. Tower clear. We're into pitch over. The pulsing reports first stage engines nominal. What a sight from the ground cameras at Starbase. We're flying at twice the thrust of the Saturn V heading to space. We're throttled down and throttled back up. Going through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. As the velocity increases, the density of the atmosphere is decreasing. Max Q. Lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out, Max Q now. Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. hundred seconds into flight. Our next major activity is going to be Our set down of the first stage. Houston tracking station now acquiring the vehicle. With shut down, we will get separation of Starship and Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six engines in a staggered sequence. If all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. And there's views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. Continuing to fly, two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation. As of right now, we are awaiting stage separation, where Starship should separate from the Super Heavy booster. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is, uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. into the test flight, the first integrated flight of the booster and the Starship vehicle. Live view there of our control center at Starbase, uh, which we refer to as Star Command. <laughs> 
as we said before. So you can see Elon Musk there in the centre of your screen uh, watching that launch of uh, SpaceX's company's Starship, uh, designed to take humans back to the moon and beyond. Uh, it's the biggest and most powerful rocket in history, and it got off the ground, Tom Clark, successfully. Yeah. Uh, everyone very happy about that. Didn't go completely according to plan because it didn't separate when it should have done. That's correct. It got as far as doing this flip manoeuvre that was supposed to put the booster in the right aspect for coming back down to Earth and to send Starship on, Starship on its way into water. Orbit, it clearly didn't go well. It didn't work, it didn't separate, the rocket began to tumble. It then appears just a few seconds ago to have disintegrated entirely. Whether that was deliberate, whether they triggered it to explode, or whether it just, you know, something got the better of it, we don't yet know. Interesting, you hear all those engineers at SpaceX cheering the moment it blew up, which you would have thought, you know, they'd be glum faced and despondent. But interesting, it gives you a little insight into how these engineers see tests like this. This is where you learn, this is where you understand what's going wrong and right but with your system. what their expectations were. They and were saying just it clearing the launch pad was a success. I was, a, I was about to say, the fact it got as far as it did is a huge step forward. That is possibly well beyond many of them even dreamt of getting. 